Hello. Come as you are vibes. Thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, look. I was able to do my nails today. My son was here today and his wife. They come over usually on Sundays and wash clothes. Um, I wasn't feeling so great because like I posted before, um, out of nowhere yesterday, I just became ill. Very, very ill. Very sick. But today, um, I've been home and just relaxing, uh, watching TV. Uh, I'm getting ready to take my meds. I have a big appointment tomorrow. I have to go to um, Decatur for an appointment for disability. And... Um, so I want everybody to pray blessings and favor upon me traveling there and back. Um, my pain level today has been probably about a seven-ish. Um, like I've been having trouble getting up and off. I, I'm going to show you guys the couch. This is how it's, it is. And uh, then, you know. The knee, it's it's just stiff and ugh, just icky. And then, like I said, sit back down on the couch. Um, I keep always a pillow behind me. Try to help with my back and sitting. This is my sitting area at my home. This is what I spend a lot of time at. We're gonna go over here. Uh, show you guys. This is my trusty walker. It's got wheels on it. It's got the wheels on it that you can use. This is been a blessing to me. I got this at uh, Walgreens a long time ago. My first physical therapy. She told me that she said get you a cane and. I've been with this since uh, my physical therapy. So this is what I carry on a daily basis. It goes with me everywhere. I like the bottom of it, how it's shaped. But yes, I try in the house not to use my cane, but I do use my walker, like I said, in the middle of the night. If I get up because I'm very stiff, it's painful. Once you lay down, and or sit and try to get back up it's very very painful so you know that's my life dealing with pain i'm gonna before i go to bed tonight i will put some cream on it i have a valtarian cream it's i have arthritis in my right knee also i've been waiting months and months to get in a rheumatologist appointment with the rheumatologist um, they, the first doctor she booked me with, Dr. Sharma, was only taking virtual visit, visits and she's, uh, was not seeing patients. The next doctor, I think Altul, he, um, didn't have an appointment until August. Then I have Fundol, uh, she's out of Peachtree City that I'm trying to get into as, uh, right as I speak. Um, as soon as my primary care manager get um, my referral through TRICARE over to them and get me into an appointment. It's been very difficult to get an appointment during the pandemic Pandemic with, um, you know, everything going on to get you an appointment. So um, I'll be getting in the bed here soon. I'm getting ready to wind down, cut everything off. Uh, go to bed so I can get up bright and bushy-eyed and bushy tail, and I have to get up at 10. I'm going to get up around 10.30. My appointment's at 1.55, but I don't know that area. I've never been up that way, so I'm going to get up early enough to try to, you know, get up there and, you know, know where I'm at and be on time for my appointment. I cooked a little today. I had to sit at the table when I cook. I sit. I made a little meatloaf, I made a little squash casserole, 
and I made some um, collard greens that no, I didn't make them fresh. I will not sit up here and tell a fib. They come out of the Can Glory Foods. They are very good. When you don't have time to pick and cut greens, Glory Food is your go-to place. And I had a glass of tea with that, but that squash casserole was very good. It's a very easy recipe, and I'm so sorry that I forget sometime that I should have went live and showed you how I personally make mine. I cut the squash up. I only had two squash, and then I cut up some onions, and then I um, take them and put them in a little, put butter in a pan. I used my uh, cast iron pan, and then fry that down. And then you mix your milk, cheeses. Uh, I use sharp cheese and I use some Philadelphia cream, like cream cheese, but cheese, cheese that's made by uh, Philadelphia. It's Kraft. And mix all that up. And then you um, put it, I had a little, that little pan, uh, put a pan that I put it in. Um, just a little throwaway pan, something quick. And um, then I crumbled up Ritz crackers. And you... Put them in, in butter a little bit on the stove, and then you just spread them on the top. Put it in the oven and let it cook. It is so good. It's better than mac and cheese. So I got me some vegetables today. I got me some greens. I got me some squash. And then I made a um, meatloaf. A little small pan. Just enough for one person. Just enough for me. Um, I'm happy to, you know, be home and resting Rest is most important. You, I wouldn't even be able to function on a day-to-day -day basis if I didn't get my the rest, the ice, and the pills. Now, uh, going to bed, just laying down, relaxing, having a peace of mind, your peace when you're going through a lot of pain. People don't even know. I read on Facebook today on a quote where a guy said, uh, if my doctor asked me, how what's my pain level and I don't say anything um yes I am in pain if he does say anything it's he it's it, the, he, I can't say the word that he said but it's excruciating pain when you do let your doctor know that hey I'm in serious pain let me cut this fan on here it's a little warm in here um but you know that's my life. That's my day to day life, man. I'm. I, I just want to. Sometime I thank God that I just don't break down and give up and give in. I have to keep pushing, like that song say. You gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep pushing. You cannot stop. You just have to deal with it the best way that you know how. And I've joined some groups that I hope that folks reach out to. We reach out to each other and they share, you know, their information and things that they may be going through and how they deal, deal with it. Um, I'm waiting on my brace. I have a customized brace that's coming. Uh, I'm waiting on it, hoping it's going to help, you know, with my, I'm going to put it on. I've seen them. Uh, several ladies, and I feel so bad because they're much older than I am. I'm 53 in the stores. They have their brace on, they have a diabetic sock on, and they're using their cane just to be able to walk and go through, you know, daily, daily life, you know, to get through life on a daily basis. But um, I was looking and I was shaking my head going, oh my God, that's going to be me. That's going to be me. Don't have a diabetic problem that my doctor has uh, discussed with me or anything of this nature right now, but uh, I do have arthritis. My mother had arthritis. I guess my sister Priscilla, her doctor has, you know, said something about getting her a referral to uh, arthritis. My sister has psoriasis. My sister Priscilla. My sister Crystal, she is allergic to certain soaps and stuff. I guess it's a uh, eczema. I guess hers is eczema. She can't use certain soaps. It'll break her out. She can't drink anything with yeast in it. So uh, my sister has um, some issues too. Um, but yes, my mom had arthritis. She died of a congested heart failure. But um, I'm just 
grateful. You know, some days are better than others. Some days you get through half of the day and you're feeling, you know, a little okay. But every day I try to do a chore or get up and do anything, that sciatica right here on this right side, oh, all the way down into that leg in there, it act up. Uh, my wrist was acting up today. I think from working in retail and all that for all those years and, you know, like my wrist slipped sometime. I told my doctor about that, but she said that could be part of the arthritis, rheumatologist, whatever. It's a flare. It's called a flare. It's called a flare. I read about flares. They are just like the stiffness, the, you know, joints and your bones and stuff when they hurt. That's a flare. And, you know, we get the flares, you know, from uh, time to time. And like she said, the doctor said, sometime you can be doing okay. And then boom, probably something we ate, something we done wrong that in our body, in our system that flares up at time to time. But I just want to thank, you know, you guys, I think the community, um, I'm very new at starting this, but I started this to be able to, while I'm home and be able to have, you know, something to do, somebody to reach out to. Not to always just be sitting here in this position and just watching TV and, you know, not being able to do much at all. But um, I just thank God that I can, the Internet's here, and then I can get on here and share my life story with someone. Some I know there's always somebody that may be a little bit worse than I am. So I know there's folks out there that is going through this. I've been on the website where it um, told where so many people are in chronic pain, that the pain, that so many people that are in chronic pain also are, you know, some people get addicted to the medication. Some people is depressed, severely depressed. Um, I'm also on some type of medication that, you know, help with if you feel down or you feel low or whatever your feelings may be on a daily basis. But, you know, deep, deep, dark depression is serious. If you or anyone out there that's dealing with that, ask for help. Don't be ashamed. Just like now, it took me to be transparent, to be open, to be honest about what I'm going through. And, you know... Uh, sometime, you know, right now, I'm not even nowhere interested in having, I, I've, I don't even feel like I'm, I'm not going to say worthy, but I don't, I don't feel like that I'm, you know, ready or anything to be in a relationship with anyone at this time of my life and what I, you know, what I'm um, going through. And, you know, my scar and everything, it, it just, it, it damages you. It, it makes you feel different. You feel different. You don't feel whole. You don't feel like you um, can do or be in certain places and do certain things, you know, uh, with your friends and family and all that. You know, when I do go out, most of, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. You'll see me uh, sitting on my on these videos uh, that I do. It's mostly sitting. Um, I stand, try to do a little bit. I try to lift. And like I said, this is my, sits here in front of me, and I try to do at least five, ten minutes of that a day. Uh, I'm trying to rip it up to about 15 minutes. But, you know, and lifting my knee. And then you don't want to look sick. You, you want to look beautiful like everybody else. I don't want to be looking sickly. I still try to some days. A lot of days I don't, but if I go out, I try to look halfway presentable. I still like to dress up, you know, have me a nice little dress on. I like to cover my scar or a pair of stretch pants or something soft and comfortable. But I don't want to look like I'm just the, in. I don't look like the pain that I'm going through. Thank God. I try not to look like I'm in pain. Some days I do. I don't feel like combing my hair. I don't feel like getting up out of the bed some days some days i just wallow stay in the bed i don't feel like cooking i don't feel like eating some days it's just it's just a lot that you go through 
but I just come in tonight to let you guys know that um, I'm here. Uh, I'm here to talk, to share, to bond, to build, to get better, to create, to be a mouthpiece. If you're not willing to do it, I am. I am. I am. All right. Good night. Thank you. Come as you are vibes. Believe that every day you're here on this earth, there's a reason. Bye-bye. Have a great night.